Hi guys, I'm back with some small business shares that I wanted to show you. Um, so these are a couple of purchases from some people that I know from Instagram that sell on their Etsy little independent shops because we've got to support our independent people. Okay, so let's start off with these gorgeous papers. So these are from my friend Heather, who's Rose Hill Paper Cottage. So I purchased these from her. All these fabulous ledgers with so much variety. She does sell a lot of different ephemera packs in her uh, Etsy, so please do check that out. Wow, look at that. Such gorgeous calligraphy. So she really must have a huge variety of ledgers hanging about because <laughs> these are completely all different unique pieces. But I love all the different colours as well. Look at this writing. Isn't that amazing? So, and I've, to be honest, this is probably the biggest size ledger I've ever seen. I've never seen anything as big as that. It literally just fits in my frame. <laughs> So they're amazing. Like I said, I've never seen anything that size before. I love the um, the colour of this ledger. Oh, it's double sided as well. And again, look at the size of it. It's massive. So yeah, thank you Heather for my order. Look at that. Oh, it's a big plane sheet as well. So yeah, I'll be looking forward to using those in my journal and she spoiled me so she also sent me this little package which i did not order but i'm so grateful heather thank you so much so she's put one of these i think it's project life card i've got some of these that i need to use and it's just a little sweet message there so in here she has sent me this gorgeous packet of sari silk which I do believe she did have some of these that were sometime in her shop and she might be bringing them back. So let's open the packet so you can see without the glare. I apologise for the noise. Look at those yummy colours. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Heather. I love this one. It's got polka dots on it. Oh my goodness. Oh, and wow. She's even, she's attached it to some infantry cars. Richard Blue. Oh my gosh, I'm spoiling it now. How fab are they? Love them. What a lovely colour blue. So that she knows me well. So thank you, Heather. Look at that. It's got polka dots. So yeah, she did say that she'd hopefully have more things like this in the near future. So make sure you follow her Etsy shop. And then she's also sent me this little ephemera pack. How cute. So if you didn't no, um, Heather also makes her own handmade papers, so she's included some for me too. Wow, look at this pink, it's got little flecks of gold in it. I think you can see that. That is a really lovely, dusky pink, and she's embossed all of them as well. So, yeah, definitely check out Heather because she does do a lot of her handmade papers, which are perfect for journaling. And you got this lovely cream. Let's do it the right way, so Again, with more gold in it. Look how pretty that is. Wow. Oh, look at this. So she's got some gold leaf foiling. Is that what it's called? And she's done in some embossing as well. That's so pretty. Love that. Thank you. And then she sent me some ephemera. A little wax seal. That's cute. Oh, so she's put it on a little, oh, I can't even remember what they're called now, but it enables you to flick them out like this. So I've got some lovely ephemera there that she shared with me. Oh, and some tissue paper as well. Look at that. Oh, thank you so much, Heather, for spoiling me. <laughs> you are so sweet. Okay, so pop that to one side. Also, I wanted to share with you another Etsy seller. So this is by a lady called Sandra Blanks. And uh, I saw this on her Etsy feed, uh, not Etsy feed, sorry, Instagram feed. 
and basically it's a little book that she's decorated just a little notebook i just thought it was so so sweet let's just undo it how cute is that so pretty and all it is it's just a little notebook that she's decorated but i thought that was so cute and i'm just going to put that in my handbag carry that around with me little pocket there and it's reusable as well so i could just get another once i finished filling this up i mean i'll probably just use it for my food shopping list <laughs> my very glamorous list <laughs> um but yeah how sweet is that i love it so i've bought from sandra before so i just pulled out the things that i'd previously bought from her so i bought these little lama de sachet things and i had i have these hung on some of my vintage um furniture around the house i've got two of them and um so pretty she makes all these little lovely silk flowers that go on them and all the lace and everything so cute and then i've also bought these tags from her before as well again love the flowers love all this old lace and they just put onto coffee stained um tags and i just love them i just think they're so pretty and again i've just got these hung up around my home on some vintage furniture so yeah, definitely definitely check out um, Sandra's Etsy. I'm going to leave her link below as well and her Instagram. But yeah, I just thought they were so pretty together. And um, yeah, so cute. Okay, so my last Etsy business share is this one, which I haven't opened yet. <laughs> it's been very difficult not to open it, but it looks so pretty. How sweet is that wrapped up with a little flower? I was not expecting that. So this is from, um, I believe her name's Amy. Uh, her account is Floshy Me. So again, I'll link that below. So I've been dying to open this. <laughs> so basically she sells vintage fabrics and things like that. Like she puts little bundles together on her shop. And this one I loved and had to purchase because it came in this really pretty tin which i'll get to that in a second just read that so she's just thanking me for the purchase yes yeah, so her name's amy and she's from floshy may so this is the this is what drew me into it because excuse me for the wrapping noise the tin is so cute Look, it's a bonbons tin. How cute is that? I love the colours of it. So yeah, I just had to have the tin. But it's also a bonus what's inside. So let's open her up. Oh my goodness. Look, she's put some wallpaper to um, line it as well. Look at all that yumminess. It's all pastels, which I absolutely adore. God, look at that. A galvanised little watering can uh, tag. That is cool. Love that. Oh, and then there's some of these. Oh, I forgot what they're called now. Um, I've got some of these myself, but how, look how cute those colours are. Love them. I love how it's still attached as well. <laughs> I've got loads of little buttons. Oh, look at that. It's like a, a buckle or something. And we've got this gorgeous little dolly um, peg with this gorgeous trim on it. Look at that. All my favourite colours. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a piece of broken china with a little um, rose on it. How sweet is that? <laughs> Love it. Some more buttons. And it's just absolutely grand full of gorgeous stuff all these pretty fabrics love the mint and the blue we could be here for some time guys i hope you've got a coffee with you <laughs> i love that it's very sort of retro colors oh this one's cute look at that isn't that lovely oh and then we've got this one as well Gosh, I really need to start using fabrics. I'm just such a hoarder with pretty things like this. Oh, look at this lace trim. It's got like a turquoisey teal bottom part to it. 
never seen anything like that before. Oh, and then we've got some vintage wallpaper. Again, absolutely beautiful pearly pastel colours. A little applique. And there's an envelope, which is like a really nice peachy colour. You can't actually pick that up on the thing, but she's put loads of bits of ephemera in there. It's really pretty. Oh, look at this. It's a, looks like a paper napkin. Isn't that pretty? Use that to decoupage. And then this is like some sort of stationery that obviously goes with this envelope. How fun is that? Goodness, we've barely even got through this yet. Some blue lace, some more beautiful fabric. I love that. Some little gingham style fabric. Some more lace, that's pretty. It's got a little, it's obviously a remnant of something. It's got a blue top to it. So yeah, Amy puts together these little bundles of happiness. <laughs> Look at that. So she's obviously has access to a lot of vintage fabrics where she lives. Look at this button. How cute. That's very kitsch. Look at that. It's like ruffly. That is pretty. That would be so nice across the bottom of a, a journal. Then some more sort of off cuts of like sort of cheesecloth material. More buttons. And you got some nice um, off cuts of quilting. You would make this nice little, you know, cluster pieces in a journal. And uh, you know, sew a button on there. So cute. Look at these lovely fabrics. I mean, wow, can you imagine if I made a journal just using everything that's in this tin? It would be so <laughs> colourful and pretty. <laughs> uh, so cute. Definitely, definitely check out her store because she puts together these amazing things. She has quite a collection. So I'm trying to go through it fast because otherwise we'll be here all day. That's a pretty little handkerchief maybe? Or maybe it's too thin for that, I'm not sure. That's so pretty. Oh, look at that quilting piece. Gorgeous. Some more fabric. <laughs> so yeah, I think I need to challenge myself to um, <laughs> make all of this into something. Oh, look at that. It's got like a... It reminds me of like a bathroom rug. <laughs> That's the only way I can explain it. <laughs> but it's a really pretty... Um, like a sagey minty colour. Oh, that's pretty as well. Look at that. That's a, some kind of off coat or something. Look at that. Embroidery at the top. It's a really pretty pale pink as well. Gosh, just chocker in this. Lovely little dainty floral, which is my favourite. Oh, this is a pretty colour. It's got uh, some florals on there as well. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. It's pink as well. Do like pink. So, like I said, I, I immediately wanted this purely because I love the tin. But this is just gorgeous. Everything in here is a real treat. Look how old this piece is. Wow, that is something else, isn't it? That could be a lovely farmhouse journal piece. Lovely. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, I love that. Isn't that sweet? Oh my goodness, it just never ends. You got a nice little piece of trim there. Oh, 
There's a few more buttons hanging about. <laughs> and then you got this little funny chicken all dressed up for Easter. <laughs> uh, how funny. So yeah, I'm probably not even going to be able to get all that back in there now because I've completely messed it up. But like I said, how sweet is that tin for a start? So cute. I love all the colours on there. And then, yeah, look at all that yumminess. So, um, please support your local and independent businesses, guys, because it's so important to support everyone if you can. And, um, yeah, look at all this, guys. So much talent out there. Anyway, have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.